hello. So today I want to talk to you guys about Vida Nostra by Marina and Sergei Dechenko, translated by Julia Maitov Harisay. I did my best with those names just now. So this is a Ukrainian novel that was translated to English and it was such a unique reading experience for me. I will begin by saying I gave it a four out of five stars. I'm still like a little bit unclear about my feelings because I just, I finished it a couple days ago and I feel like I need to read it twice, which I would absolutely love doing. I am keeping this all spoiler free. And the reason I don't do a lot of dedicated book reviews on the channel, I think that's something I wanna change for 2021. But so many of you guys asked me to do a review for this book because I know a lot of you are interested in reading it. So I thought I would just share a little bit about my reading experience rather than a strict book review because this book is really more about your experience reading it rather than going through the checklist of plot and characters and setting and all of the typical components of a book that you're looking for this you really don't read for those specific reasons in my opinion i don't want to give away too much about the synopsis of this book because it's truly so special and magical that i think it's best if you're pretty blind going into it but i will say the knowledge that i had that's in the synopsis for the book i don't feel like it hindered or lessened my enjoyment of my reading experience whatsoever knowing this information so our main character sasha is on this little beach getaway with her mother and a man is mysteriously kind of eyeing her and following her and keeping track of Sasha and Sasha starts to notice and eventually this man gives her these strange tasks that Sasha must accomplish that are very strange. <laughs> Let me reiterate that. The magical realism elements come into this story because when she completes these tasks she actually vomits these gold coins. And once she has received enough of these gold coins, it allows her to gain entrance into the Institute of Special Technologies. So this book has your magical boarding school type of setting, which is something that I absolutely love. And it's not your typical boarding school though. So from reading other people's reviews, this is said to have a very Russian vibe to it. I don't really know what that means, so I can't really speak on that, but I will say it doesn't feel like your typical United States or UK type of boarding school setting. It's very different from that, so maybe that's what they mean in the Russian feel of the story. And a lot of the things that seem traditional to the characters in this story were a little bit off-putting to me, and I don't know if that's a cultural difference or where that's coming from. Either way, it made the reading experience very unique and I enjoyed reading these different things because they weren't so common. Okay, so I'm just gonna read this. A complex blend of adventure, magic, science, and philosophy expressed through a distinctly Russian voice. This astonishing story will transport the reader to a place far beyond imagining. That could not be more accurate. People use a lot of comp titles for this book, one of them being The Magicians. It gives me a little bit of the Magician's vibes. Magician's is a favorite book of mine, so I hesitate to compare things to it. But this book more so gave me like a darker Harry Potter type of feeling. The difference is I would say, don't go into this book expecting to get to love Sasha's friends and a lot of other characters in this book, or even the professors like you did Harry Potter. I would say that this very much solely focuses on Sasha, her mentor, Farid Kozenikov, and maybe like one or two other people. She has one friend that is included in this and then another mentor teacher type of role. And I personally really enjoyed that. I loved as we closely followed this small cast of characters because you got to know them so well. Rather than dedicating a lot of time to getting to know a large cast of characters in this book, this book is one that will keep you guessing throughout the entire story. And even like when you say the outcome to someone who hasn't read the book, it doesn't even make sense to them. And it barely, it doesn't even really make sense to me and I finished the book. So you have to be okay with a lot of like open-ended concepts. This is more of a conceptual book in my opinion than like concrete, hard magic. It's definitely more magical realism and there will be a lot of unanswered questions. 
you will spend a lot of time wondering how things are even happening. You will spend a lot of time trying to picture things in your head as they're happening because they are so different from what is in your typical standard fantasy books. And I love that about this. So I would say this is not a book that you are reading for specifically the plot or characters or world building. It's a book that you're reading for the atmosphere. It will completely, as the back of the book says, transport you to this school and you just don't even feel like you're in your reality anymore as you're reading it. I listened to it, which I personally think that is the way to go about it because the audiobook narration was beautiful and helped me through a lot of these Russian names and maybe terms that otherwise I wouldn't have been familiar with. And just, as I said, the narration style is beautiful. And listening to these very atmospheric books is always the way to go for me to have a better experience overall for something that's supposed to be magical and filled with wonder. I would say this book has a sense of like psychological suspense throughout it because you're building to something and it's all leading up to something, but you don't know what. And I will bet my bottom dollar that you will not be able to guess what it's leading up to exactly. And if you do, you're way smarter than me, but I love books that don't let me have a complete grasp of everything that's happening and a full understanding of everything. I think that's the beauty in magic sometimes is that we don't really know the extent of someone's abilities or what can truly happen in the world. I think that is the thing that makes us have this beautiful childlike wonder about magic and it keeps the sense of mystery there. So that's something I really appreciated about that. And I hope that this is not just sounding like a jumbled mess of words, but that's kind of how this book leaves you feeling. I did feel like there was a bit of a lull in the middle. There is a chunk in the middle where you're kind of just waiting for something to happen. You're waiting to experience more of these weird occurrences because it starts out very weird and you're just waiting for more of that. However, if you push on through that, which I never found those parts boring, I just wanted a bit more, it was just just definitely more your typical like watching someone process their feelings and emotions kind of being somewhere they're where they don't necessarily want to be and they don't really have a choice in the matter but if you press on through that you get to the last third of the book which just all kinds of crazy things happen and it just gets weirder and something weird will happen and then you'll be like oh wow and then you'll keep reading and something else will happen and you're like okay what now okay this is what we're doing and you just have to be along for the ride and i think that is the fun of this and i'm trying to make sure this is all very vague because i would not have wanted to know any of the elements about what she's doing or what happens at the school going into it and I will tell you that you spend a good majority of the book not knowing because even our characters don't know what they're there for and that keeps the element of suspense going throughout the whole book. It was such an enchanting experience because you just sort of felt like mesmerized by the narration style. And personally, I think that the way that it was translated, the prose is stunning in my opinion. It is not over the top flowery, but it's not dry whatsoever. It's very accessible still. And I really don't have all of the descriptive words I would like to use for it because I just can't place my finger on it. But immediately upon starting this book, I knew I loved the prose between the author and the translator. It was just done beautifully. I would say that I really enjoyed the themes of this book. Dealing with topics of like coercion and being powerless over your choices and what's happening to you. Watching somebody try to overcome their fears because some tasks that the students must complete definitely involve overcoming fear. So I think that watching the struggle of someone as they're being forced to do things while trying to overcome fears, it's just a really interesting topic to read about. It's very nuanced, but very subtle. It's not like in your face explicitly talking about these topics. It's just something that's subtly happening throughout the whole book. And that's why I think it's beautiful. I don't like things that are overstated. I want something that's more understated and you really have to put a lot of thought into what the author is trying to say in the messages. I also feel like I related to the main character, Sasha, quite a bit because she is pretty strong and she's pretty independent and she's pretty 
stubborn at times. She's definitely a very caring about her friends and family, but she also has this side to her where she kind of detaches from everyone and everything because she wants to be the best and she wants to succeed. And so there's just so many aspects of her personality that I really related to, which made me enjoy this book all the more. And I think the ending is just something that I want to reread the last section again because it was so beautiful. And I, I don't imagine anyone could read the end of this book and be disappointed. I'm sure there are those of you out there and that's fair. Discusses overcoming your fear, coming into your own, becoming who you are meant to be. And I've tried to do some more research because my friend Nick from Wicked Good Books, I'm gonna link his channel because he's the one who brought this to my attention. And he said that he thinks this is a novel exploring existentialism. So I'm gonna look into it more. And if you want to go right ahead as well, because I think he's absolutely correct in saying that. So when I'm looking at this, which says existentialism is a philosophy that emphasizes individual experience, freedom and choice. It is the view that humans define their own meaning in life and try to make rational decisions despite existing in an irrational universe. And that is brilliantly explored in this book in my opinion. If any of these themes and concepts sound interesting to you, I would highly recommend this and I would definitely recommend the audiobook for this experience as well. If you want a beautiful atmospheric story with magical realism elements and learning about the power of choice and freedom, then pick this book up because I don't think many people will regret it. I haven't checked to see if there's a lot of bad reviews for it, but I just really highly doubt that there are and most people that I've encountered who have read this book say it's like a new all-time favorite book for them or it's a minimum like four or five star book because it's so beautifully well crafted and it's stunning and it's so unique what a unique experience there are two more installments from what i understand that have not been translated yet so it really makes me wonder what else there is to the story and i will tell you if those novels get translated i'll be first in line to read them because i want more from this world and i'm very excited to see what these authors have to offer in their other books but i would love to hear what you guys think if you've read this book are you as like mesmerized and in confusion about the ending as i was or do you totally get it did it click with you and make perfect sense you're brilliant and let me know if you're planning on picking this book up now after seeing my thoughts on it i'm very curious i would love to hear so thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time